Hi guys, hi friends, hi family, hi YouTubers and any brand new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to Samantha Dawn. Um, I really appreciate every single kind word and every single comment that you guys have been creatively drawing from the page and the videos. Um, I'm like really amazed and my heart is like filled with love like I've never felt so good in my life um, so thank you everyone I wish to return the love to you and if there's anything that I can do to help you then um, please let me know um, like I said I am um, I have a background in counselling, life coaching, mental health and well-being. Um, I've done labour intensive jobs. I've been in the food industry. I've been um, a caregiver. Um, I've had multiple roles in different um, taste of kind of everything you can think of. Um, so... Um, please um, feel free to talk to me about anything I'm so grateful um, I'm just um, going to put on some clothing and show you what I've got in this week's clothing rummage so um, please feel free to um, make a comment if there's anything you like in particular um, yeah, thank you so much, and here's my video. Okay, guys, for the first um, rummage, that I got this outfit. I don't know if you can see that. I'm wearing, um, like, a grey kind of like um, a pewter style grey um, it's quite a dressy top so this is the type of top you could wear to um, an interview or if you work in an office behind a desk or somewhere where you need to wear appropriate clothing this is a really good top I'm just wearing a pair of um, of khaki pants, it's just like, um, you know, like, um, what do you call it, like a canvas style pant, which I find really comfortable, um, really suitable if you're just like doing meditation or yoga or pilates, um, even if you just need to go to the, to the shop for five minutes, these pants would be okay. But I wouldn't recommend wearing these pants um, anywhere else. I think they're a little bit informal and you won't really pick up any dates in these pants. So anyway, that's the first top and it has some buttons on the side if you want to wear the top like that. So I, I really like this because it's really comfortable. I wish that these pants could be worn literally anywhere. They are so comfortable. But you know how fussy people are with clothing. So anyway, you probably won't, won't get any dates in these pants, which I think is a little bit unfair because they are so comfortable. I think more men need to start dating people that just want to feel comfortable with themselves because I can't think of any workplace that you could wear these pants I think there's too many rules for us girls I think that like you should be able to wear these to an office with um some really nice high heels and maybe like a, a top that has a little bit more um 
a top that has a little bit more flamboyance and maybe that you've spent a little bit more money on. That's the only way you could get away with wearing these pants. Anyway, that was the first one. Um, sorry about the lighting in here. I know it's insufferable. Um, I'll just have to change that. Um, I'll put the video on pause so I can show you the next one. Hi, so this is the next top. This is a pink top. It's probably what I would call like, I don't know what type of pink this is, but I think it's kind of like a romantic pink, like a blush pink, you would say. It doesn't button up, it just stays there, but I've got some buttons sewn on to the top to make it look like a formal outfit. So this is a little bit like more of a casual top you could probably wear to maybe um, one of your parents' birthday parties or something where you already know who the people are and they're okay for you to dress this way. So I have like a rouged um, sleeve um, and yeah, it's got like a clown's collar so I mean do you know do you understand what I'm talking about if you're going to wear this shirt out just make sure you're comfortable with the people that you surround yourself with because it literally literally has a clown's collar so just be careful because you could make an idiot out of yourself if you wear a top like this to a high-end party or a rich person's house. So, um, yeah. Just, you've got to keep in mind the energy of the clothes that you buy. If you've been to a rich party, there's only a few places you can shop in New Zealand in store, but just be really selective about the clothes that you buy. Like, for example, if you are shopping at Pagani, which is a shop that anyone can go to on any pay packet, just be careful about the detail um, because this is a very budget top. It has fake buttons and a clown's collar. Need I say any more? Next outfit. This top is kind of like a Japanese kimono but it's a t-shirt and you could maybe get away with wearing this type of top it has a ruching part in the middle so this is from Pagani this is the place that I was talking about while I was wearing the pink top so it d doesn't matter how much money you have, anyone could shop where I bought this. And it would be like, you might be able to get away with it. I don't know. It depends on your budget. I think um, most people that are on high pay packets, they don't shop at these particular stores. And I know rich men my age, they know exactly who to avoid. They know exactly which women to avoid based on small details and telltale signs in the clothing the women wear. And if it's not in the clothing she wears, it will be in another detail. It's something that is going on here. There will be a telltale sign. Okay. I mean, I know that you could probably find a partner that has a million dollar house, right? But you, you're never going to be able to wear the same clothes as they do. So it's always going to be a bit of a challenge trying to find brand new clothes to suit the lifestyle. 
So I know that um, there are people out there that are willing to adjust, to accommodate, but the way that the world is made up, they make the clothes specifically with telltale signs. So make sure whoever you're spending your time with is wearing the same clothes from the same store as you. Or else that's going to be, you're going to be the subject matter of the party, okay? And you won't even know it. All the, all the negative energy in the room will go towards the worst dressed people in the room. So if you go to a party, make sure there's always someone worse than you and maybe you'll come in second to last or third to last. I don't think that someone like me will ever come in first unless it's a place that I can come first in. Does that make sense? So if I'm looking for like um, the richest 35 year old guy who is single and doesn't have kids like he's on like a crazy good salary that I wouldn't even be able to fathom or do if he still wants to open up his um his heart and his mind and everything then I, I'll be right here but do you think, guys, do you think that's going to change? Don't know. Anyway, next outfit. Here's a wee dress that I bought from the mall. Just the general store. It has a wee tie at the side. Um, this dress makes me feel really mature. Like, but I'm on a budget and I'm struggling to get my children fed. Definitely doesn't fit in anywhere. I got a little jacket that I could wear to a funeral if I really felt like I wanted to. Um, but... There you go. So yes. Maybe if I was to choose a smaller selection of outfits and throw everything else away and just buy my favourite high-end pieces of clothing or buy them second-hand, maybe... I could eventually find my soulmate who also wears really nice clothing but they're not always wearing new outfits all the time. They stick to the same pieces of clothing for the majority of the time until they are worn out and they can buy something else that looks new. So it's just keeping the clothes that you have looking as new as possible. If you can't do that, it's good to have a backup of secondhand clothing or just like clothing that you can buy at the um, the hard uh, the department store. Cheap clothes. Anyway, so that is my outfits. So I had the grey top, the pink top, the rose top, this dress that is just about knee length. And this top that I could wear with basically any of those. I'm really thinking that I need to think about um, where I can buy my clothes. And Timu is really good so far though. Just, you know, it's not the best. You'll never get like high-end clothing at Timu. It's for people that are on budgets and can't afford to keep up with like... The higher levels of social statuses unfortunately um, and these pants 
as well. They are so comfortable, guys. I don't want to take them off. I love these pants. Anyway, um, thanks for watching my video. Um, take care. Feel free to write some comments. And feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And help me get to 1K subscribers. I know I will. I just got an email to say that I'd finally reached 2,000. 2K. 2,000 hours of watch time. So I need 2,000 more hours. And then I can monetize the channel. I can get some more orders and more food hauls and more clothing hauls. I'm going to figure out what hauls are bringing in the most views. And then I have to read the YouTube guidelines for how to monetize my channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really enjoy it. Take care. Bye.